today I'm going to show you how to find the division of complex numbers. And so here we've been given our complex numbers Z1 and Z2. So let's say we're given Z1 as x1 plus i y1 and z2 as x2 plus i y2. So to find the division means that z1 we are dividing it by z2 and this one is going to be x1 plus i1 i y1 divided by x2 plus i y2. So to find the division of complex number we are going to multiply through by the conjugate of this number and the conjugate here is means basically the numer the denominator but we are changing the sign so we are taking um uh, x1 plus i y1 dividing by x2 plus i y2 then multiply the conjugate which is um x2 minus i y2 by the numerator then by the denominator x2 minus i y2 so we start by the denominator the numerator and the numerator will give us a x1 minus uh, x1 x2 because we are multiplying x1 here and um, x2 so it is x1 x2 then we are minusing uh, x1 i y2 plus i y2 x2 then we minus uh, y1 y2 so this will be the numerator the, the denominator will be uh, x2 here this x2 multiplied by x2 which is going to be x2 squared then minus x2 i y2 then plus x2 uh, i y2 yeah then uh, from there we are going to multiply i y2 by i y2 so i squared is going to be a negative so a negative by a negative is going to give us a positive which is going to be y2 squared so then um from there we are going to write the numerator then divide by the denominator but as you can see the numerator has values that can that are going to give us a zero so x2 i y2 plus x2 i y2 when we add these two numbers we are going to get a zero so denominator shall only have x2 squared plus y2 squared so to combine these values we are going to have um, x1 x2 minus x1 i y2 then plus i y2 x2 minus y1 y2 then we are dividing by uh, x2 uh, x2 squared plus y2 squared but complex numbers have two parts we have the real part and the imaginary part so you are going to collect the like terms so that we have the real part and the imaginary part so that one we can do it here we can say um the real part is is going to have those values without an i but those with an i are the imaginary part so we, when we start by the real part we are going to have um, x1 x2 plus y1 y2 then divide by x squared x2 squared plus y2 squared then we add the imaginary part which is going to be i into bracket x2 y1 x2 y1 then minus x2 y2 then we are going to divide by the, the denominator which is x2 squared plus y2 squared so this is going to be our answer when we divide um, z1 by z2 thank you